Five is. Check. Hot tap. Check. Gloves. Check. Let's go build. We need to order the crane. How much kangaroo do we need? How much can get it? Will the site office be ready for us? Wait, stop! Aren't you forgetting something? You should always plan for your build. But how am I meant to remember all these details? Well, you can use BIM. BIM? Yeah, building information modeling. What's that? It's a smart way to gather project information for all aspects of design and present it visually using software tools. Ah, great. Can you show me how it's done? Let's go meet the team. Hi, I'm Ian, and I'm the quant surveying the project. Hi, I'm Monica, and I'm also one of the quantity, quantity surveyors of this project. I did cost inspection in the project. And I did the quantity takeoff. We are gadgeting. Because we make sure that we have all of the materials that are needed on site, and that the project comes in on budget. Yeah. Hey, we're the best team in the world. We plan. We make sure everything is on time. We're the schedulers. I'm Tasha. I'm Lydia. And I'm Nicole Langerdijk, the project manager for this amazing team. And we work best... TOGETHER! So what do I think BIM means and how have we used it in this project? Um, building information modelling is becoming an integral part in projects this size, where we have to consider a lot of different uh, people coming together, such as electricians, um, and also just seeing how what's structural components and what's architectural uh, and making sure they all fit um, in a way that works but still looks, uh, looks pleasing to the eye. Uh, so yeah, really getting everyone to, on the same page, uh, working on the same document and making it a lot more efficient. Um, things are software that make design so easy to visualise, not only graphically but also in terms of that are given. Well, as a quantity server, I know that the construction process can be really complicated. Time, money, labour, materials all have to be managed and the amounts known so that the project goes ahead as planned. Now, using the BIM software, I was able to visualise how much is needed, go through and do a quantity takeoff of each element so that the rest of the team would know exactly how much we needed. It made the process a lot simpler. BIM was really helpful in determining order of things in the schedule and making sure everything goes on time and in place where it needs to be. The clash detective um, function was incredible in determining that and doing what we needed to do. Um, after test got ordered, I used a time learner for the simulation to visualize the schedule and create animation to, to see the whole progress from the start to end. Uh, the animation also helped the contractor in the building phase. Our communication was carried out through the Facebook Messenger and email, where our teammates were working remotely at different locations in time zones. We split the tasks in allocating to surveyors and schedulers. This was done to ensure that we take the maximum use of our time while everyone was away during the holiday. As for reflection, BIM shows us three-dimensional diagrams so that people can have an intuitive understanding of the building instead of the imagine. Secondly, BIM can use simulation to reasonably arrange the construction process, reduce unnecessary correlation and rework problems. Then, BIM can do budget calculation. Materials can be directly shown in the diagram and calculated by computer to obtain detailed data. In this process of learning, we found that BIM is not hard to master. Every link in the staff in BIM has its rules. It doesn't need profound computer foundation. On the other hand, it's easy to lose confidence during the learning and implementation process. In fact, learning BIM requires a gradual progress, polishing technique over and over and again in order to be the best at it. Your technical needs a common mind. Can we build it?
not so bad. And I. Uh, <laughs> um. Can I stop here? And the quantity servers. And we're not quantity servers. Are we quantity servers? We are quantity servers. <laughs>